Hello. What about you, my lovelies? Cass Piper Cassidy here, coming at you from the, the garden. I've just finished mowing the lawn. Would you like to see how beautiful it looks? Isn't it wonderful? So I thought I should reward myself with a lovely pipe. Now, we have something very, very special to smoke today, and that is a pipe tobacco that I had never heard of from Hermit Tobacco Works. Are they the guys that are responsible for shortcut to mushrooms and all those weird uh, Lord of the Rings named style ones? I, I can't remember, but they have this tobacco called Captain Earl's Stimulus Package. I'm reading from Tobacco Reviews. Um, and I've never tried it. So I'm gonna tell you a story. It's a story about a pipe maker called Chris Shaw. He's from Bubba J. Vegas, BJV, BGV. I can't do the Yorkshire accent. Nine milli, make a nine milli pipe. I can't do it. Sorry, Chris, I'm sorry. Feel free to come at me with your worst Northern Irish. Um, so, I had bought a pipe of Chris's from uh, uh, as a present. It was actually a retaliation present. Uncle Phil had bought me a pipe, so I had to buy him. I felt that I should. And uh, we, we, uh, Phil's very, very happy with the pipe. And so we decided then to uh, maybe have a Zoom, as you guys will have seen recent, the most recent Zoom on my channel was with Chris, and he's a great guy. But anyway, he sent me a stimulus package. So he sent me some samples, right? And you are not gonna believe what he sent me as well. There was a pipe that he was unwilling to sell because he felt the walls were too thin, but he had deemed my smoking slow and considerate enough to maybe own a pipe with thin walls without any danger of the walls heating up too much. So he, would, he, he wouldn't take any money, I assure you. I tried, ladies and gentlemen. So he sent me this beautiful pipe. It's kind of reminds me of the shape of the classic Lee Van Cleef, but it's obviously not a Meerschaum. The stem is made of a resin. It's incredibly soft. I believe the, the resin comes from, uh, what's his name? I always forget his surname. Chris from, um, oh, that's really gonna annoy me now. But anyway, it's a plastic resin. Looks good to me. Um, let me just show you. It's kind of a deep purple stain, as you can see, kind of like a pinkish purple. Beautiful little pipe. The walls aren't incredibly thin. I don't want to tip it too much because it's full of the Captain Earl stimulus package. But as you can see, I mean, they're thin, but they're not in any way unsmokable. Beautiful wee pipe. I'm very happy with how soft the bit feels in my mouth. So I've commissioned the pipe from Chris to be made with, uh, he uses another type of, pla it's polyester. So it's meant to be soft as well. But anyway, beautiful pipe. He also sent me some of this Captain Earl stimulus package, but it's from 2014. I don't think I've ever, mm, have I? It's very rare that you smoke a tobacco that old. So it'll be interesting to see. And of course I've never tried it before, so there's nothing to compare it to really, but he also sent me some Solani Silver Flake, which I've never tried. I have had a bowl of this out of the back and it's very nice. The Kentuckys aren't overwhelming. It is still a Virginia blend in my eyes. But also he sent me these cigars so in there we have a Bolivar Delicios Finos from 2014. We have a El Rex de Mundo 2004 Petit Corona. 2004? And a Rafael Gonzalez 
uh, Bedras 2012. The Bolivar is meant to be a nice, strong cigar, so I'm looking forward to it, but I have never smoked Cuban cigars that age, ever. Chris, you're a gentleman. This is really, really a magnificent thing, you know, to have and to give to someone. Amazing, thank you very much, you're a gentleman. But let's get on with the point of the video, and that's to get my first impressions on the 2014 Captain Earl Stimulus Package. Without spilling it all over the place. Mmm. While I get this lit, let's have a quick word from our sponsors anyway, shall we? These are 1792 flakes. A big 50 gram pile of them. Not too much, but certainly not enough. Shall we put it that way? They are damp, as you can see, they'll need at least for zero, 40 minutes drying time, I would say. But they are beautiful. Look at that lovely Kentucky. You can smell the Tonka bean, which is like a very sweet, uh, more savory, similar to vanilla, but it's more kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. If you're a fan of tobacco, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to try 1792 Flake. You might hate it at first like I did. Try it again, trust me. Once you get used to Kentucky, it's one of the best. Enjoy. Delicious. So, the blend Captain Earl Stimulus Package, what a name anyway. Massive seagull just flew past me. But anyway, it is Virginia, Latakia, and Turkish. That's it. So it's a Balkan blend then. Is in a Balkan blend Oriental and Latakia? And an English blend is just Latakia? Is that true? Is it? So the Latakia in this is extremely smooth. I'd say it's quite a high content as well. Let's see, does it say anything on smoking pipes here? Latakia Oriental Turkish. Captain Neural Stimulus Package is a true delight for lovers of Latakia. Rich and full bodied, it's pressed to deliver a perfectly balanced blend to the true aficionado of full English tobaccos. Blend type English. I'm going to have to look up my definitions because if Tobacco Reviews says it's English, I thought an English was just Latakia, no Orientals. And then a Balkan was an E varietal, but then if there's Latakia, then, then must be Orientals to make it Balkan. This is extremely smooth. If I had to compare it to any tobacco I'd had recently, it would be the Seattle Club Reserve Plum Pudding, but it's nothing like it. I suspect that with the age on it, it's eight years, they, uh, Latakia would have smoothed out the Orientals aren't quite as sour as maybe they were. Although they are there, they are there being sour. The Virginias are so far in the back, but they are there, they're detectable, and they balance the Latakia and Turkish out. Give it a tiny hint of earthy sweetness.
It is a fantastic smoke. I assume this stuff's gonna be nice new as well. I mean, it can't change that much, can it? I'm sure it changes a lot, but... Other news. I uh, recently bought and tried some pirate cake. Um, it's nice, but it's very one note. It's almost too smooth. The Latakia is too smooth on its own. So I mixed it up in equal measures with some Haunted Bookshop. I bought 30 grams of each. So I now I have about 60 grams of uh, Haunted Pirate Ship. This is what John Harden did. I tried that and it's very nice. I know you're meant to leave it for at least 30 days or so. I know uh, that's what John said, I think. Uh, Mick Aussie E-Piper was telling me that's what he said anyway. But it's certainly, um, the Latakia in the pirate cake helps the harshness of the straight burly kind of uh, haunted bookshop. So it smooths it out. And then also the, the burly then from the haunted bookshop gives the Latakia more of a, it's, it's burly with Latakia. It's 75% Latakia and the rest is burly, I think, in the power cake anyway. So then once you're mixing with Haunted Bookshop, it gives it more of a burly kick, which detracts from that one tone, too smooth Latakia. It's a very nice, very tasty blend power cake, but it's just too smooth. It's just almost all Latakia, so it's very, very smooth. You miss, you miss a bit of a bite to it, a bit of a kick, you know. Not a bite, you don't want bite, but you know what I mean, folks. So yeah, I thought, I mean, there's still, I still have some uh, pure pirate cake left. I will smoke it as well, but I'm thinking after 30 days, based on the first, I had a little sneaky bowl out of it before waiting 30 days, obviously, and based on that, it's gonna be great. Haunted Pirate Ship all the way. So if you have Haunted Bookshop and Pirate Cake, I recommend you mix, you know, take 10 grams of each out, mix them and leave them for a month and then see what you think. Bloody fantastic. And think of, think of uh, good old matches, 860, when you do it. After you've done your morning prayers to uh, Mutton Chop Piper. So, this is brilliant. Back to this. It's very nice. I would highly recommend it. It's extremely smooth. Although I can't say what the new stuff is like. Maybe the eight years in the tin has rounded this out nicely. Who have we got next on the uh, Zooms? I think it's uh, our good friend Matt the Irish Piper. We're also waiting on then, there's gonna be another pipe maker coming on, Rose Pipes. Nate, his name is, at Rose Pipes. At some point in the future. And then, at some point, way, way in the future, it'll be uh, Steph and Skip Kane. But we have to wait for Skip to get back from Alaska. I believe he's out there doing some work. Now, I would say this is a full tasting blend, but I wouldn't say it's got a lot of nicotine, if that's what you're after. Maybe Latakia is, uh, the content seems quite high, maybe that's why. Uh,
I would recommend this though, folks. I would say, taste-wise, it's got a very full flavor. It's got that smoky laddick here with the earthy sweetness of the Virginias and just a slight sour note from the Orientals. They all work well together. They're all blended nicely. Nicotine, I'd say about two out of five, if that's what you're after. The room note, I'd say, would be quite strong if your husband or wife doesn't like uh, Latakia. It's going to be difficult. I know that Mark, Northeast Piper, he's lucky his wife actually prefers the Latakia blends. <laughs> Very lucky. Yeah, but I think if you're a true lover of English, Balkan blends, then you, you should definitely give this a go. And what an absolute pleasure it is to try a tobacco that's been aged for eight years. Thanks again, Chris, for everything. For the pipe, the cigars, and the lovely samples. You're a great man, and I look forward to seeing my pipe I've just told them what I like or what, what kind of shape I fancy and then I'll leave it to his artistic integrity. I know Chris is a busy man. He's uh, making a good few pipes for people at the minute. I hope to see that improve, or sorry, increase. His pipes are unbelievable, folks. Just take a look at his channels or his Instagram and have a look at the pipes. And if you're a fan of pokers, he makes quite a lot of them. I think it's one of his favorite shapes to make, but he can do all, all the classics as well. And Phil's most recent one is like almost kind of a billiardy freehand with some plateau, as far as I remember. And that stem is just beautiful. Go, uh, go take a look at Phil's Uncle Phil's latest video. Beautiful. But anyway, folks, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's a bank holiday weekend here in Northern Ireland, so we get Monday off. So, three days in a row. I've got my motorcycle lesson on Thursday. I better pass it this time. Because the motorbike's sitting behind me here. I reckon if I don't pass it this time, I might just crack up. I'll definitely just go insane. I'll get it. I'll get it. But thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for listening to me. And uh, hope you have a great weekend. And we'll speak to you soon. Toodle pip.